Want to visit the world's most advanced laboratory? Just step outside. You know, we have to thank scientists and inventors for the amazing technology we have today. But who do they have to thank? Well, the answer for a lot of them is nature. Because while we've really been at the inventing game seriously since the mid 19th century after the Industrial Revolution, nature's been playing this game for billions of years, testing out different options, finding out which one's the best. So it doesn't come as a huge surprise that scientists and inventors often look to nature for inspiration. For example, consider spider webs. Now, personally, my own experience with spider webs is pretty much limited to accidentally walking through them and suddenly becoming a master of kung fu. But the scientists at the University of Akron had a slightly different approach. They looked at attachment disks. Now, these are the anchor points for spider webs. It's where the web attaches to something else. And they're really sticky and really strong, and the scientists wanted to know why? So they looked really closely, and it turned out that each web was held in place by a series of tiny spider silk threads in a particular geometric pattern, and this made them very strong and efficient. Well, the scientists used a technique called electrospinning to pull thin filaments of polyurethane and used it in that same geometric pattern to anchor a nylon thread, making their own synthetic adhesive. And this could be incredibly useful in the biomedical field. Just imagine that you've unfortunately broken a bone, but using this technique, a doctor could stitch the bone together so tightly that it heals back much faster. And we don't have to just stop there. There are actually lots of other examples, like the world of nanotechnology. You see, a team at North Carolina State University was trying to figure out how to make thin layer solar panels more efficient, because light was reflecting off between the layers, and that's lost light. And they looked at moth eyes, which are really non-reflective, and discovered that they have tiny nanostructures that funnel light back into the eye. So they built synthetic nanostructures that mimic this same property and made the solar panels more efficient. And what if we go a little more abstract? Consider the centripetal spiral. This is a shape that shows up again and again in nature, from nautilus shells to the shape of a whirlpool. A company called Pax looked at this shape and discovered it's the most efficient means of moving fluid through a system, so they started building products based on it, everything from fans to mixing equipment. And to bring it back round to adhesives, consider the gecko. I love these guys. They can climb up walls and ceilings and even hang from a pane of glass from a single toe. And it's all because of nano-sized elastic hairs they have on their feet and toes. By making similar synthetic hairs in a similar geometric configuration, scientists have made dry adhesives based off the gecko. My point here is this is just a glimpse at the millions of examples of how nature has inspired technology and science. And I think it's a great argument for funding biological sciences so that we learn not just about other organisms, but potentially spark the next technological innovation. And who knows, maybe in the future we'll all have gecko suits and we can scale walls with our bare hands. Or perhaps the next time I encounter a spider web, I'll master my tiger crane style. All right, I have a question for all of you. What technology based off of nature do you think is the coolest in the world? Tell us in the comments below and explain your answer. After that, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel, join all the cool kids, and check out these videos over here. You're gonna love them, naturally. <laughs>